Hello, Scorpios. Welcome back. Welcome back to the show. All right, so Scorpios, we're going to get entwined with your energy and see what we have for you. If this does resonate, everything should be in a description box. All right, so this is C for Scorpios. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. What's the energy here for Scorpios? Scorpios, this is a general no personal read. So take what resonates and throw out the rest. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, though. <laughs> to show your support, it really helps out the channel, okay? All right, so let's see. Scorpio's energy pull. What's the energy? Healing. Wow. Gemini's had this, too, earlier. It says acknowledging, like acknowledgement, like giving us acknowledgement or realizing that, okay, you have been going through so many trials and tribulations here that you definitely need to heal. You need some, to take some time off for yourself. This is what I'm getting here as well. So tell me more. What is this about? A fresh start. Wow. It says new beginning, leap of faith as well. I feel like this is like being given to you, but it's not yet activated. Or this is an option. This is your crossroads. This is what your angel guys are trying to show you, okay? Like, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, but you need to take a step back. Okay, so tell me more. Retreat. Oh, wow. It's like you're getting, like, this back up energy. It says getaway, growth, traveling, new experiences. So, again, you know, having this path. Look at this. Taking this time for yourself and having this path. Like deciding which path you want to take. And then I'm seeing boundaries on the back of the deck. So let's just see what this is all about. It says stop, uh, speak up, self-discipline also here. So I feel like you're being disrespected. Okay, so let's see. What is this energy? What is this energy for Scorpios? this energy for Scorpio. I'm being pulled. So another deck, you guys. Yes. Here we have it. Being pulled so another deck. <laughs> All right, I don't know what's been happening, but that's been happening for me lately. Like, honestly, all right, but I have to follow the directions. So, let's see. Let's see what we have. What's the energy here for scripts? And it's going to shuffle. Ooh. Scorpio's energy. The Ten of Pentacles of Justice in reverse. We also have the Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups in reverse. So there's a, a I feel like there's a pull back here. There is a connection that you're trying to recall or your connection that you're trying to get over. I feel like the memory for this connection that's coming through, Scorpios, are very triggering. This is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing this person. Like, there was something that was built with this energy, okay? And for some reason, the Ten of Pentacles is still in reverse. And I'm just looking at this, and I'm just seeing that this is important with the Ten of Pentacles. This could be a child, a home, foundation, like the connection of this all is important but there's some kind of unjust there's some kind of lie there's some kind of truth that is also hidden here a lot of you could be dealing with a libra energy and I'm also seeing like the love the love of this connection though but it's crazy because you have the six in reverse the six of cups 
This could be someone from your past, okay? Or a lot of you could be trying to get rid of this connection or trying to like get over this connection. This explains the healing, the fresh start, the retreat energy, the boundaries as well, okay? That is also showing up. I'm also seeing secret admirer, like somebody's watching you, like their feelings are getting stronger. Um, instead of, you know, disappearing here. Okay, so tell me more about this energy. All right, so you have the Seven of Cups. Tell me more. You have the Queen of Wands. I feel like this person has options. And I'm seeing like you're giving me this energy like you're still nurturing, but you don't care like anymore like you don't care about what's going on anymore with this energy it's like you feel like this person is not focused on you this is what i'm seeing here like they're watching other people or they're trying to make other people happy here and you're coming off as like very motherly and nurturing and you just want this to grow and blossom but I'm just seeing like this person is not overwhelmed with these options. So it's not something like they want to, to have, you know, like they want to pursue. This is what I'm seeing. I feel like with you, the Ace of Cups, it's like they still want to make you happy. But there's something that they need to tell you. This is what I'm seeing. And the Ten of Pentacles is very important to this energy. There was some form of lie because I'm seeing that in, in everything... They affected you emotionally. They affected you mentally important, like very mentally here within the Eight of Swords in reverse. But I'm also seeing like you are getting out of this energy of getting back your power, your self-respect, your self-value, your self-esteem. And I'm seeing like you are like reversing this energy. Like whatever lie or whatever they kept from you, like you're just... You're in the path of getting your 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 that power back, Scorpios. Like you're not afraid anymore. Something about fear. Like this person try to implement fear within this energy. Tell me more. This person didn't truly invest. Where there was a lot of loss within the kiss connection i'm also seeing the eight in reverse so you have the seven and you have the eight so they don't want to change their stripes either this is what i'm getting here like this person doesn't want to change their stripes they feel like who they are and how they are is is you know that's what's up like i feel like this person is losing as well because you together it shows as like together you're stronger you know because i'm seeing like you could build more than just being separated here because this person is putting you through so much transition and, and i'm just seeing the seven of pentacles eight of pentacles in reverse it's like you are the creative shield behind the relationship like you bring ideas and they just like some of you this person is giving me fin fin finance the ideas like <laughs> but they don't know how to be creative all right so we have the world here number 21 for those of you and we have the king of swords as well we also have the three of wands in reverse so this has been going on for quite a while there's a distance here I feel like you feel like this will you will never reach your your um the destiny that you want to fulfill with this person. Like you just feel like it's just so long you've been going through this. There is going going to be some form of communication and completion happening here, okay? For those of you who are worried. So tell me more. Hmm. Maybe I should tell me more. This wanted to come out. Tell me more. You have the Knight of Pentacles, 
the king of no i'm sorry what am i saying the nine of pentacles the nine of cups and the death in reverse let me push this down a little bit i need more my own holy spirit <laughs> okay so let's give me more Ooh, so this you have the seven of wands in reverse you have the empress also in reverse here so you have the eight the five of cups in rever in the upright um you have scorpio in reverse oh wow within the death i feel like a transition happened here that either you're dating another scorpio like yourself or you are tapping into your energy of like this is happening and you feel stuck like you never really moved on from this okay i'm also seeing that the nine like this person is just like so crazy how they have all these energies out here like from the ace to the ten like they're pointing out the important things about this connection as well and how you make them feel within the world like, you know, they can do anything. Like, there's going to be a shift that they also want to communicate with you, this person. But it's just been so long that you guys have been going through this trial and tribulations energy. And it seems like no one is changing here because this person is giving me the A. Like, they're not changing their stripes. But it's like they're having this acknowledgement of what's going on. Okay. I'm also seeing the five of cups where there's a lot of emotional loss here, a lot of emotional triggers, a lot of loneliness, okay? There's a lot of codependency as well, okay? Virgo energy being a factor here. I'm seeing Scorpio energy as major arcana, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo. For those of you who resonates that, that is your confirmation. Libra energy as well. Um, within a justice, major arcana, okay? Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Let's see. Tell me the factor. What's the main factor here? There's a lot of stubbornness here, and there's a lot of slow <sighs> energies that I just feel like that was happening, but I feel like with an eight of wands being a factor here, this could be Saj. Like something is going to make their way towards you. Something is going to come true. Something is coming towards you when you least expect it. Okay? Because you have the ace, the ace of wands in reverse. Like there was some form of hiccup. Then you have the four of swords here. So this was a mental situation where you just couldn't talk to this person or deal with this person within this energy. So there was some kind of blockage that was placed. But I'm seeing that it's lifted now. This could be about the lies. This could be that the, this person walked away from you or left you within the eight because I'm seeing like there's a huge regret here as well. Okay, so let's just continue. I think I need more room, you guys. Oh, thank God. Okay, so tell me more, please, sir. Tell me more. What is the energy? Wow, soulmate vibes. Strong connection, romance, romantic relationship. So this is like a soulmate vibe, you guys. This could be someone that you're also married to. This is what I'm feeling, like tied to. I'm also getting the six of cups, but you're trying to like reverse this contract. This is a connection, strong connection. I'm um, just getting a lot of you are trying to fight this redemption here. Like, like there is some kind of need for forgiveness here. Someone is trying to find forgiveness because of what, have, what they have done or what they have caused. Okay? They're trying to change their ways or present themselves as being changed. Okay, so tell me more. So I'm seeming like this person regrets something. The longing energy i'm also seeing missing desiring connections or connection missing desiring the connection here <sighs> looking out the window longing for this person this person is longing for you you're getting mutual feelings that's what i'm getting because you have the ace of cups here like this person still wants to like 
make you give you this huge offer because you are ready for this and the 10 it is like this person loves differently this is what i'm feeling and i'm also seeing here what is it what is it what is it what is it um the six of what is it no not the six we have well we have the seven mutual like multiple people are coming through as well but with a seven of cups and also with a seven of wands but i just feel like with a six of cups here like this contract is pretty deep and that's being confirmed with this soulmate vibe okay this could be someone that you knew since childhood for those of you this is what i'm picking up as well okay so tell me more let's do one more dreams it says divine guidance so a lot of you are having visions or you're being counseled within your dreams by your guides okay like you're talking to people that you never have met in life but it's a full-blown conversation within your dream and you are actually remembering the details because they're allowing you to remember because your highest self wants you to remember that your highest self your soul agreement so let's see wow coming back together you guys i just feel like this is way too strong and seeing coming back together aries leo or sag energy for those of you that this is implemented with i'm also seeing twin flame as well for those of you so you have soulmate then you have twin flame energy as well so this could be someone from your past or this could be someone that you met and it was very quick it was very passionate okay it says passionate energy facing yourself this is an agreement within your higher self that you wanted to experience something within your higher self by shadowing yourself by doing a lot of shadow work creating another subconscious that has and that's a deep situation because a lot of you are going to be like what is this one me it's just one me but do you believe in multiple lives do you believe in living multiple life at the same time well <laughs> this is what that is twin flame energy because if you are one soul well if your soul decided to have some kind of healing within yourself like there are some things from your past life that you need to heal and the only way you can understand something because your soul experienced this you experience this within your soul is to duplicate yourself right and have a, a different the same person but it's the different subconscious this person can choose on their own this person can make choices within this life and when you pass away you go back to your highest self which is your soul we here we're in spirit so that's it's that's a whole nother video but that's twin flame for you okay <laughs> that's twin flame for you um let's see all right so we have complicated we have confusion here not seen clearly okay rose color glasses i just feel like you can't see clearly here you can't see through the screen like you can't see through the eyes that you have in this physical body so a lot of you are definitely getting visions within your dreams like your your guides are trying to talk to you your guys are trying to show you a new perspective how to understand each other how to deal with each other okay like you're not really alone like you think you are okay so i'm gonna stop shuffling this back because i could go on and on <laughs> all right so tell me about the connection of this relationship the moon is like right in front of my house you guys right in front oh my god so strong so strong all right so let's see let's see let's see all right so we have finance and career oh wow so a lot of you are having financial issues okay or a factor or this is a factor in your relationship right now or in your love life right now okay um and this could be a problem for you and this person because some of you are together and when i say together it's like marriage or some kind of commitment because i'm seeing like there's like this home 
there's like this foundation that you have built so there was a lot of time to put into this connection i'm also seeing like this person wants you to wait or be patient a lot of you are stuck vibes like this could be the one too tell me more it says here keep an open mind you know this might not end the way you think it is going to end so keep an open mind here it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so keep an open mind like a lot of you are questioning if this is your soulmate or this is your twin flame you know some people don't want to be with their soulmate some people want to be with their twin flame some people <laughs> You know, they have options here. So it's like you are questioned that like, this couldn't be, this couldn't be. Um, but your angel guys were like, hey, you never, listen, keep that, you know, keep that open mind here, you know, active. Okay, this could be the one. It says you already met the romantic partner you seek with this could be the one. So yes, it is your soulmate and it is your twin flame for those of you who are African. One more and then we're going to move on. What is it? What is it for Scorpios? We have children that are involved here or some of you could be expecting children as well. It says your love life is being affected by children and I'm seeing for those of you that resonates with that you do have this confirmation of this ten of pentacles like you built this foundation you built this home some of you even have a dog or a cat like i just like i'm seeing a whole family here and this is like time that you put into this relationship and for it to be falling apart because of choices you know wrong choices this is what i'm seeing here chemistry is also shown up on the back of the deck you guys are like magnets here okay like people just don't understand it and i feel like no one should mess with you you know you know i'm getting that vibe like no one should be trying to date you or the other person because you just come back together this is what this is all about you guys just come back together all the time and you make people look stupid and you know i just don't feel like people should be getting involved with their situation but let's clear this up and let's see what this person feelings are um since this energy is coming out i feel like this is something that is going to be attached with your next read that i was that i'm about to do for you which is going to be your no contact read so <laughs> let's get into it and see these videos are going to come up really late tonight by the way so be here with me all right so let's see what is the energy of this person that is coming out here and I don't know, every time i shuffle there's a difficulty there's a difficulty thank you oh you know what i'm being called over here for some reason so let's see what this person's thoughts are because it seems like they want to send you some force of text or they want to talk to you so what's the word Holy Spirit. What is the word? What is the word for this energy? What does this person try to say? Let's see. This person's feelings. What this person want to say? Two Scorpios. Mm. All right. So it says, <sighs> okay, I need to hold back my true feelings for you i need to hold back my true feelings for you i feel like this is the first one i had the first first time i have this one i think because i don't remember ever seeing this one i need to hold back my true feelings for you why <laughs> and it says i can't express myself oh my gosh i can't express myself It's like this person is giving me young vibes. This person is giving me like can't communicate vibe, but I'm seeing communication. I'm seeing a conversation that's going to take place. Don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. Ooh. 
Oh, wow. So Scorpio, that could be at you. You could have lost it with this person. Drugs and alcohol is also a factor here. There's some kind of um, addiction issue. Don't thank you, Holy Spirit. The way I have treated you was wrong. Wow. So they're bringing this up twice. The way I've treated you is wrong. It says, don't treat me the way you the way you do i don't deserve it and then it says the way i treated you was wrong wow i feel like this person gets drunk and they're a whole different person or if they're when they're high they're a whole different person that's what i'm getting here <laughs> how could you ever forgive the mess i've made question mark wow Okay, one more. This person loves to long text, okay? Because I'm getting long vibes, long messages, not even little words. <laughs> you have triggered me. So this person has um, past life issues. I feel like this person needs to heal. This person could be a Capricorn or uh, a Leo or Scorpio or Taurus. Aries as well in reverse it says here you are so different from everyone around me so you I feel like they something about you that they need they don't have this this is what I'm getting they don't have this so let's see what this person's energy is thank you Holy Spirit Holy Angels Holy Father Holy Guides I love shuffling this deck. This is like my favorite deck. My long time deck. I'm surprised I was called back to it. So let's see. Hmm. Okay. So I'm seeing the 10 right here. I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune. And I feel like that's the first card that they have. That's coming out here for you. So I'm also seeing the Sun in reverse. Oof. Okay. We'll have the Four of Cups okay we also have the queen of pentacles that's not too bad we have the star here okay in reverse and we also have the ten of swords so i feel like this person honestly i'm just getting healing vibes like they can't be with you right now because they have so much open past wounds that they have not healed from as yet and i feel like they know that they have to take this journey and they haven't put in as much energy as yet to this healing process or letting go or closing this chapter or forgiven forgiven whoever they need to forget to actually move on okay i'm also seeing the queen of pentacles here so they look at you as very stable they look at you as very like you know they don't have to worry about you if they decide to walk away from you or to um, move on with their lives whatever they're doing they just know that you deserve better honestly about the situation they feel like you're going to get the blessings that you ask for within the universe like you're going to grow like you're going to attract someone that is going to be better for you this is what i'm seeing here I'm also seeing the four of cups here so there's a weight in progress as well so this person is figuring that you still love them you're waiting for them you're waiting for some kind of change because you're still so open to that stability okay the sun is in reverse here and i'm seeing leo twice within the wheel of fortune plus within the sun so for those of you who are dealing with leo that's a major arcana i'm also seeing gemini aquarius aquarius is coming out twice as well within the wheel of fortune and also within the star and um taurus and leo okay some of the cases even scorpio for those of you within the wheel of fortune but you know it's just here so those are the major arcanas that are coming out so tell me more holy spirit tell me more 
all right so this person's energy is giving me a vibe of a deceit that happened they're showing this as past tense okay so they want to resolve this okay i feel like this person is not giving me like second chance vibes like they're not going to be able to kind of come to you and plead their case and come to you and say hey i need a second chance i want to be with you i was wrong like i don't see that person doing that unless you know i'm going to see something else that comes out here but i just don't feel like they want to like act like they're they they need you for some reason there's some pride here but they're also trying to get over this five of swords this embarrassment you know this deceit the lies that they have said i feel like this really put a dampen on the relationship this person could have been a friend first or someone that you worked with or someone that was on your team and it was just not working out you know there's a lot of loss there too within the three of pentacles in reverse okay when it comes to a position for those of you all right um if this is a work situation i'm also seeing the world so there's a completion with this i'm seeing the magician and also the nine of uh cups here so this person like i said this is the same energy that is coming up before i'm also seeing the positivity so a lot of manifestation a lot of praying a lot of trying to like rebuke the negative thoughts and negative energy from this connection around this connection like this person wants to just be able to move on in power okay um and it's crazy because that's the vibration that they're bringing up i'm also seeing this person will eventually sacrifice because you have the hangman that's coming out here pisces energy they may not be able to tell you how they feel this is what i'm seeing and it's crazy how it says i can't express myself it's like i can't express myself so it's like they can't tell you how they feel for some reason because of pride they're watching you though they're watching you they're keeping up with you for those of you who are separated again aquarius gemini uh taurus leo energy within the world here so still feel like they can make you happy you know or they can probably in the future um, with this energy, I feel like the 1111 is still feeling good for them when it comes to looking at you as someone that they value and someone that they wished for. And I just feel like this person is looking at you as, again, the queen of pentacles, like everything that they ever wanted within the person. So let's see. Let's see. Tell me more. Wow, the chariot. Wow, the 1111 is in the upright. No, no surprise there. Because that nine of cups energy is so, so there in the upright. And that's exactly how they feel for you. Nine of cups. I'm seeing that this person might be in separation, you guys, because they're showing me as if like they're making a choice to come towards you they want to be able to move on so they're coming towards you with a legit feeling but i feel like this person is very very prideful and this is going to get them in trouble with you because they're showing up as someone that is acting like a player and you might not believe them because they have a lot of feelings for you yes they want you in their future but they're showing up as someone that has like this player vibe okay I'm also seeing this uh, ooh, this four of pentacles in reverse here. You also have the two of wands and then you also have the page of wands. So I'm sorry, not a page of wands, the page of swords. What am I saying? Okay. <sighs> so interesting. I just feel like, you know, there's a lot of letting go here. There's a lot of money issues too that I'm seeing for some reason. I feel like there's going to be luck brought back into this situation because this person does have the 10. So they're destined to be in your life. Okay. This is a part of your contract. Okay. I feel like they just miss you physically. I want to be with you. This is what I'm seeing here. And I'm also getting some form of jealousy here. This person made the wrong decision. There's some jealousy here as well. There's some talk. There's some gossip. There's some childish play here. Interesting. Tell me about this page of swords. 
the lovers in reverse. Gemini's energy. All right, now I'm seeing like this person is upset because of this, this, this energy in reverse here. What is this that just came out of the deck? The five and the king of cups. What's on the back? Codependency, laziness, dependent on someone else here. Marriage that is like looking like it's going to be in reverse. Some of you are filing for divorce for the justice that came out earlier. This could be a win for you or, you know, not. Um, I should say not. If the justice came up in the upright, then yes. But I feel like the justice came up in reverse. So there's not, you're not going to get a lot. I'm just seeing though, yeah, there's going to be a loss of Ten of Pentacles. If that's the route that you're taking because you feel alone or you feel abandoned within this situation. And I'm seeing the love. Yeah, the love is here. But you're wondering if this is enough, you know. I, I'm seeing the offer. The King of Cups plus the Ace of Cups energy. Ooh, you know, this person has a lot of love for you. But is that enough? Okay, so let's see the fortune cookie energy because let's see the fortune cookie. I'm just gonna put this over here so I can have room. What is the energy here for Scorpio? What is the energy here for Scorpio energy for? What is the energy here for Scorpio energy for? For Scorpio energy pull. What it says, raise your vibration on the back of the deck. Okay, so a lot of you are at a five vibration right now. Five vibration. And the Holy Spirit is like, raise your vibration right now. this right here i'm just seeing like whatever you feel is going on like just know that your work will pay off or your energy whatever you're putting your energy in just know that you're going to be successful but of course this is going to take time and a lot of you might just feel like you are you know you're not going to see the sun you're not going to go to the end of the tunnel but I am seeing that you're going to be okay. You're going to find yourself out of this. The angels, however, is saying that you need to laugh more. You need to smile more. You need to be in the present moment more. A lot of you just need to be in the water because you are water-based energy. So you need to be out in the water. You need to explore within the ocean. You know, it's just crazy how all of this has water vibes. It's just so crazy. All of this energy has like some kind of water pitcher on it. I don't know. Oh my god, water sign, clearly. It might just be the deck. No, the deck has other things too. It has other things. Look at this. You know, it says light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, you have the moon energy as well. Trust your intuition. So it has other pictures. But for some reason, you have all pictures that has water based on it. So crazy. But I'm also seeing like be calm, okay, within their situation. Let's see. Okay, tell me more. Ooh, the sun. The sun and wow. Spiritual breakthrough, number 10 vibration, 21. Oh, wow. So I'm just seeing like you're going to be at a level of understanding you're going to be a lover of like getting the downloads that you seek from your angel guides. I feel like you're just going to be at a better place spiritually. You're going to feel lighter. And then I'm seeing again the sun energy. You laugh a little. Be young a little. You know, enjoy the process of this life. 
you know i'm hearing like why so serious <laughs> why so serious if you guys want to purchase my deck it's in the description box number 15 it's time to choose me so you have like really just put in with this energy this is what i'm getting scorpios you really put your time in with this energy and it's just like time to choose you now remember that jealousy that i was picking up it says jealousy and envy here number five this could be this person that you're dealing with because i'm also seeing like a younger energy gemini aquarius or libra energy that is highly jealous of you um this could be another person that they're dealing with okay for those of you who are separated from this person they could have another thing going on here but i'm seeing that there's some force of jealousy like somebody wished they were you with this envy number five vibration and clearly you've been going through a lot of five divided by three here is five so i'm just feeling like you're going through a lot a lot a lot a lot okay and i'm also seeing leo energy coming up or capricorn energy but i'm seeing leo within the sun again okay so Wow, a lot of stubbornness, very hard to deal with. This also says toxic vibes and stubbornness, number 15 as well. So you're dealing with a lot of 15s, a lot of 15, a lot of five adversities within your life right now. And this is something that your soul needed for growth. But, you know, the angels are just specifically saying that to smile more and to go through this a little bit gracefully. Try to at least. And try to learn from this. But this is what I have for you for your energy poll. I hope that this resonates. Everything should be in the description box. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a moment. Bye, Scorps.